Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how the upcoming Grand Theft Auto Online DLC, GTA Online Bikers, uh, can actually mean for the future of Grand Theft Auto Online updates. So this is another great article that was on GTA5Cheats.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And obviously, we know Grand Theft Auto Online Bikers. It's coming out very soon on the 4th of October. And a lot of people have been very hyped for this because this was one of the most highly anticipated DLCs of all time since the game's release and since Grand Theft Auto Online started getting updates. So we know that the files for bikers were leaked a long time ago. I think they happened in the end of July and obviously it wasn't until a couple weeks ago until that DLC was officially announced and confirmed by Rockstar. Now what's interesting about this update is while Rockstar has incorporated fan suggestions before into Grand Theft Auto Online in a very limited manner, some examples Examples that I can think of are the weapon safe in the CEO offices, allowing us to get specific and customized weapon loadouts. So I remember when so many people were asking for that, they added that into the game. They also did some tweaks revolving around bike physics, allowing players to stunt and glide. So yes, they have incorporated fan suggestions into Grand Theft Auto Online, but usually the developers are allowed to do and create whatever they feel like doing and don't really conform to public requests and opinions. They just make the content that they really want to. However, the public was definitely wishing for a biker-themed DLC with posts appearing all over the place, and the demand was clearly obvious. And then there came a petition which actually called on Rockstar to develop and release a biker-themed DLC. So this petition was started by the Bikers Unite video. Uh, I'll leave a link to that video in the description too. Essentially, it was a call to Rockstar saying that they need to create a biker themed update and it talked about a lot of the features bikers would like to see including things they wanted into the game accessories things to do vehicles uh, what their characters should be able to look like and a whole lot more and it was really awesome because over 70 biker crews came together to launch the campaign and as I'm making this video there's nearly 19,000 signatures and what's pretty crazy about the petition and the bikers unite video that was made was that almost every single point described by that petition looks like it's going to be coming in the bikers update. Now, while it's true that some of those features are kind of necessary for creating a biker themed update, uh, Rockstar hasn't cited this petition in any way, in any of its posts or on any of its updates or social media updates that we get. So this is definitely not to say that the petition alone, which in the end of things had a relatively small number of signatures based on the people that play Grand Theft Auto Online, uh, it's really a fraction of the GTA Online player base. I'm not saying that that ultimately made Rockstar create the DLC, but I do believe it contributed to the effort. Rockstar definitely would have had to been living under a rock in order to not see the demand for a bikers update into the game. And this might actually indicate that Rockstar is now more than ever open towards producing content that maybe the community wants to see. I mean, Grand Theft Auto Online is going on into its third year now as we reach the 1st of October. So maybe Rockstar is done creating things on their agenda and might be looking more outward towards the community and creating stuff that we want to see. But now the real big question here, and what does that mean for the future? And what does this mean for the future of Grand Theft Auto Online updates down the line. Uh, is there a chance that Rockstar could be creating more community request lists and turning them into future DLCs? And could further DLC request petitions maybe offer a further glimpse into what Rockstar will be creating for the future as far as Grand Theft Auto Online goes. So obviously one of the most highly requested themes for Grand Theft Auto Online is to involve the police in some way, shape, or form. Uh, cops playing as a cop, having a Cops and Crooks game mode. A police-themed DLC has been requested for almost as long as people wanted bikers in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, this probably comes from Grand Theft Auto 4's elements. Uh, there was obviously a Cops and Crooks 
Crooks game mode in Grand Theft Auto Online. But there's also probably a lot of people that have been consumed by very popular GTA 5 mods that are all centered around being a police officer. Now, I know that Grand Theft Auto 5 is all about being the criminal, being the bad guy. In Grand Theft Auto Online, you start your life as a petty criminal, trying to work your way up to the top where you do bigger heists, allowing you to buy a bigger apartment and faster cars. But there's definitely a demand to play as the good guy and to role play as a cop in Grand Theft Auto Online. I mean, even before we had mods in the game, people would just take police cars and go around driving around like they were the cops. So there's certainly a need for something like that in the game. And unfortunately, in online, Rockstar has kind of limited what we can do with the police. We can't store police vehicles uh, outside of glitches. We can't wear police outfits. And it's really hard to get access to some of the cool areas like police stations where they're completely locked off outside of certain heist missions and other objectives that we have to do uh, by structured activities. So it is hard to be able to become a cop and become a good guy. And that's one of the biggest themes. Now, recently there was a pretty unbelievable concept created by another uh, YouTuber, GTA Wise Guy. I'll leave a link to his channel and to the video I'm about to talk about in the description. He created a DLC concept and a trailer to go along with it as well. It's kind of similar to the Bikers Unite video, but it kind of takes off more of the style of uh, Rockstar's traditional trailers. And it's called Tuners and Outlaws. And Obviously, the DLC is based around uh, tuner-style vehicles and being as the cops, finally introducing the cops in Grand Theft Auto Online. So he's allowed me to show you guys just a few quick snippets of the trailer. Uh, I will include a link in the description. Uh, but there's a lot of features that he talks about in this update that absolutely sound incredible. Uh, one of the features he talks about, obviously, for the vehicles a little bit is free mode-based car shows and illegitimate car meets and stuff like that. That obviously there would be new vehicles, but there's also the opportunity to enlist with the Los Santos Police Department. So you could finally become a Los Santos police officer and you could either choose the side of racer or police officer. And that's awesome because you could give chase as police officers. Uh, you could obviously do whatever you wanted, new ways to customize cars. Like I said, I'll leave a link to that in the description. It is an amazing, awesome trailer. Uh, so it was so well done by him. And it definitely deserves your view. So do keep in mind, obviously, it is a fan-made trailer, just kind of how the Bikers Unite was kind of a fan-made get-together to kind of inspire Rockstar to create something that was related to the Bikers update. But nonetheless, their concepts are very similar, and it does kind of bear the question, will Rockstar see something like this and say to themselves, okay, that is incredible. We need to add something like that into the game. And I, honestly, I would not mind that at all, especially after watching this trailer. I think that it's pretty amazing, some of the features. Now, uh, obviously, modding something into the game and making a cool trailer is a lot different than uh, developing something for a game. But nonetheless, it still absolutely looked incredible. And I'm sure the very talented people at Rockstar could figure out a way to implement some of those things that you guys hopefully will go in the description and check out. Uh, into online. And honestly, I think a DLC like that is primed perfectly for Grand Theft Auto Online because all of the pieces are already there. I mean, you have the police department in game, you have the FIB in game, you have the noose, you have all the vehicles that are pretty much there at your disposal that just aren't available in online. So the framework is there for Rockstar. Very similarly to kind of how the biker stuff was, all of the framework was already there in online. You had the Lost MC clubhouses, you already had the Lost MC motorcycle gangs present in the campaign and in online. So the pieces are there and it honestly wouldn't surprise me if this was something that was next on the agenda. And keep in mind that a kind of cop style system was the original plan for Grand Theft Auto Online. So you weren't always forced to be a criminal uh, and the original concept for online, you could have chosen to be a, uh, a good guy as well, which would have been a very interesting dynamic and could be a really cool shift in terms of the mechanics of Grand Theft Auto Online. 
In fact, I think we've already started to see that more recently uh, with the last two DLCs in the game, the VIP and CEO system. I know at the end of the day, that still has to do with uh, doing petty crimes, but it's more on a professional business level. Cunning Stunts was obviously a 100% passive DLC that didn't feature any new content that involved like killing or shooting or uh, being a criminal whatsoever. It was just all about racing. And I'm sure that the bikers update is obviously going to have some killing aspects to it as well. But I, I'm imagining that a good part of it is going to be the new vehicles, the new customization, getting together in our Lost MC clubhouses, riding together as motorcycle groups. So I definitely think a police DLC is possible and uh, I think it would be amazing. And now that we're starting to get some pretty cool uh, videos created and petitions going, Going. Like I said, could this Bikers DLC kind of springboard other community wants for online? It will be definitely interesting to see. As always, I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Do you think the community sparked biker update will actually do something for the future of Grand Theft Auto Online DLCs? Be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.